Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 15th video in Windows Server 2016 tutorial and in this video today I'm going to show you how to enable Hyper-V replication for virtual machine step by step. So basically what is Hyper-V uh, virtual machine replication? Replication is allow us to replicate this um, virtual machine copy from one host to another host and in case of any issue, any maintenance on our primary host we can we can uh, fail over the machine virtual machine to replication partner uh, so we'll see how it's work and how to configure so make sure the uh, hyper-v replication is not a technology where we, you can enable the uh, uh, make your virtual machine highly available because the failover is not going to happen by itself we have to do it in manually only so so here is my lab environment I am using three virtual machine here to de give with this demo so the first machine is active uh, Win2K 16DC01 which is my active directory and DNS server you can see my domain name is victorinfosol.com if you go here on first server Win2K 16DC01 you can see here uh, my active directory and DNS role is running on this server you can verify here my domain name, my computer name and IP address, all the details and the second server is Hyper-V1 and Hyper-V2 both both are the Hyper-V server and we I have installed Hyper-V role on this machine uh, on both the Hyper-V host if you, if you don't know how to install the Hyper-V you can go ahead and check my last video at the previous video where we have installed the Hyper-V role and uh, created one virtual machine so on Hyper-V 01 you can see the Hyper-V role is installed and also one virtual machine is running if you go to Hyper-V manager you can see the we have created one virtual machine in last video that is running here and on Hyper-V 2 you can see the Hyper-V 2 we don't have any virtual machine created on this machine so we'll replicate our machine from virtual machine from Hyper-V1 to Hyper-V2 so we'll see how it's work so to configure the replication we need to go on Hyper-V server and Hyper-V setting there is you can see here Hyper-V replica replication configuration to enable the replication we need to select here enable this computer as a replica server and then we, we have two options basically you can enable the HTTPS which is uh, more secure way to replicate the uh, the traffic uh, virtual machine from one to another so this is authenticated and encrypted traffic and if you use a uh, use corporate HTTP it's not encrypted so I'm going to use the a port 80 for now and the rep allow replication partner from authenticator where we are going to save the replic uh, a virtual drive hard disk file so I'm going to you can browse the path I'm going to use the default path and apply OK and this is uh, giving you warning to configure the firewall allow inbound traffic so we we need to make sure that we, ha we have enabled the port 80 to, from the firewall to allow the communication on port 80 so in my environment I have enabled the port 80 if you don't have enabled you, you need to go to firewall setting and you need to enable so same settings we need to do on our Hyper-V2 go to virtual machine settings on a replication setting enable this computer is a replica server and port 80 and allow the on a C drive only so same message related to firewall click OK we are done with this and now to re enable replication we need to right click on virtual machine we have here option enable replication if you click on it it will give you the uh, enable replication wizard so you need to go to next and we have to specify the replica server in my case the machine is running on Hyper-V1 so I have to assign Hyper-V2 here because my replica partner I want to make to replicate this virtual machine on my uh, on Hyper-V2 so Hyper-V2 here click OK and if everything goes well then it will give you the next step otherwise you need to uh, make sure if you did mistake any like firewall is not enabled you the replica partner is not uh, accepting the traffic so in my case you can see the setting same setting which we have enabled from Hyper-V replication configuration so good to go 
and make sure you have checked this to compress data transmission over the network and use this drive location for virtual file which we are going to and we have a choose the frequency frequency to how how much you want to send the data to replica server and 30 second 5 minutes on 15 minutes so i'm going to use the 5 minute by default one click next and here we have to maintain only one at the latest recovery point we have few option to create a recovery point if you want to create a recovery point on your replica server you can go ahead and create so i'm going to create make it four copy there and click next and now send an initial copy over the network if you want to try from external media you can try from external media also so i want to use from here send the uh, initial copy over the network so we can uh, use the network traffic and here you can see it's calculating the space around 9.147 GB it's not that much so I can transfer on my network easily so click next and we have a scheduled replication so I, I want to start immediately so click next and this is the all information which I are going to create and click on finish now you can see here enabling replication and replication is in replication enable successful close this now you can see the initial sending initial replica means it's sending the data to replication partner if you go to performance and you can check the ethernet setting how much the data traffic is coming and sending and on hyper v2 you can see receiving changes means it's receiving the data from uh, its primary failover server or uh, replication server you can see so it will take some time to replicate the all the data from there to this machine and then we can test the failover for the for this so wait for this to complete so now you can see the data transmission is completed and if you want to do some maintenance on primary host you can go and shut down so if if you try to plan hand uh, failover it will not start because you need to must need to shut down the f machine on primary or uh, replication partner so go ahead and do this first so i'm going to shut down here so it's it's basically logged so let me log in and shut down from there put the credential and shut down the machine from here now you can go here and plan failover so and it's starting the replication virtual machine and replication partner so now you can see the it's just started on uh, replication partner hyper v02 So the thing is, the thing is, we need to shut down the machine. Then we need to power on on second machine. So our virtual machine is not highly available during the failover. And now we need to do a uh, failover again to its primary replication partner, which is 01. So we'll do this. Just wait for it, and then we can go ahead and log in and shut down this machine. And one more thing you have to take care about during this the Hyper V, uh, the switch setting with uh, virtual machine. Uh, switch setting which need to be here so this also need to be take care so 
so you can see it's done so login again to cancel failover go here and shut down the machine and that's secondary uh, connection um, replication partner and you can close this and we have option here to replication cancel fa plant fa failover and click yes and it's done if you go on replication you can see replication enable and now you can start this virtual machine here so this is the way how we can uh, enable the replication on Hyper-V server and how we can uh, do the plant failover and uh, once again we can recover the Hyper-V virtual machine on its primary replication partners so this is all in this video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye